Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to the What's the Output video series on C programming language. Here in this video series, we're gonna give you a C program and we're gonna ask you guys to guess the output of the program and then we're gonna explain the output. So all you guys need to do is pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then guess the output of the program. Once you have an answer, just click on the play button. You know, I'm gonna run this program and explain the output. Alright, now we believe that you guys have an answer for this program, we're gonna build and run this. So it's gonna be build and run and the answer for this program is gonna be 54321. Now why the heck we're gonna get the answer like this. Here in this main function we have used a variable with static storage class. All of you know that a static variable is initialized only once and it has the capacity to retain its values between the function calls and here you know we have initialized our var static variable with a value of 5 and then we are printing that value and then decrementing it so it's gonna print out 5 and then after that you know the var variables value is gonna become 4 and then we have used the if statement and then we have called the main function again so you guys can see we are using the recursion here if where here where is containing a value of 4 which is a non-zero value and it's gonna be evaluated to true and that's why this uh, main function will be called again and at that time you know the uh, static variable where is gonna contain a value of 4 so it's gonna print out that value and then again the value will be decremented so it's gonna print out 4 and then it will be decremented to 3 and then again the if condition will be checked if 3 which is evaluated to true and then again the main function will be called and at that time the where variable is gonna contain a value of 3 and similarly you know the recursion call will be done till this var variable is gonna contain a value of 0 so we're gonna get the output 5 4 3 2 1 and when this var variable is gonna contain a value of 0 you know this if condition is gonna fail and that's why you know the main function will not be called the recursion stops right here so this is it guys for this tutorial thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys can check out my website learninglad.com for more tutorials and also you guys can follow me on twitter at learninglad.edu and i'll see you in the next tutorial